Thank you, Director of Ceremonies. Thank you, Honorable Mini Deputy Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Esther Munyangwe, my dear friend. Your Excellency, High Commissioner of the India to Namibia, government officials, all present here. I'm happy that our ancestors are coming here to help us as we are receiving this uh, special donation. And we have to appreciate that. His Excellency, Dr. Hage Gentop, President of the Republic of Namibia, once said, and I quote, India is Namibia's friend. Past present and future, end of quote. India stood shoulder to shoulder with us in our quest for independence. Today, India stands shoulder to shoulder with us in our determination to defeat the COVID-19 pandemic. And the consignment we are seeing in front of us is a clear testimony to that. Your Excellency High Commissioner, our heartfelt and sincere gratitude goes to the government and the people of India for the generous donation of the 30,000 doses of the COVID Shield COVID-19 vaccine. This donation definitely will make a big difference in our fight against the virus. India has always been the voice of those who were oppressed. And today, once again, India stood up for the fight against vaccine inequality. Namibia welcomed India's initiative to present before the World Trade Organization to put in place an emergency temporary waiver for some trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights, rules to enable greater production and supply of COVID-19 vaccine treatment and diagnostic tests. India mechanism called Vaccine Marit, which is vaccine friendship, aimed to develop to facilitate vaccine to those in need is highly appreciated. Many of the developing countries who do not have got their vaccine so early, if India could not have supplied them, and we are happy Namibia is one. As you all know, that is the second time the vaccine is arriving in Namibia. We hope that other vaccine producing countries will follow suit. Your Excellency, donating vaccine around the world is an act of selfishness and testimony of the solidarity of the government and the people of India with the South, South-South Corporation, which we know as a member of Nana Line. India has been advocating over the years, and now we are seeing it in action. Your Excellency, it was of great relief for countries like Namibia when India made it very clear that there is no place for vaccine nationalism in this crisis situation, as no country is being spared the impact of COVID-19. And until all of us are able to contain the spread of to the COVID-19, none of us can be seen safe, and hence donations like this. Namibia is in full support of this statement, as such a statement reminds us India's commitment to other global changes, 
for example, climate change, which has also devastating effect to the communities. We are seeing it ourselves, how climate change is affecting our people, droughts and floods. But India also stood by us on this. In Namibia, India has made a mark by planting dozens of trees, which is in line of our goal to combat desertification and to mitigate the impact of climate change. The impact of this initiative of planting trees has been recognized by the Botanical Society of Namibia when they decided to rightfully award you, Your Excellency, High Commissioner Agrawal, the tree award in October 2020. I continue to congratulate you and to congratulate the people of India. Such an award was given in honor of your commitment, your commitment and of course, your own commitment, Your Excellency, to assist Namibia in the fight against climate change and desertification. And now you are showing again the commitment to help Namibia to fight the COVID-19. Recently, I joined you in the tree planting ceremony at one of our schools in Katutura. And that event was even so special because it was dedicated to the fight against domestic violence. This speaks volumes to the excellent bilateral relations that exist between our two countries. Your Excellency, India and Namibia schedule a number of events that will see new heights in our cooperation. And Mirko will play our part to make sure that everything is done according to plan. As I conclude, Tomorrow, Namibia is celebrating a 31st independence anniversary. And what other gift can we get for this anniversary, like the doors we are meeting today? That we highly appreciate. The Minister of Health and Social Services is now up to you to make sure that this is done properly. And I would like to congratulate and to wish the Namibian people that as we are celebrating our independence, I want to congratulate you and to wish you a happy anniversary in Africa. Let us use this day to pay respect to our heroes and heroes who made it possible for us to be free. Let us use the day to commit ourselves to hard work in the best interest of our people. As we celebrate the day, we must know COVID-19 is still with us and we must comply to the COVID-19 protocol. Wash our hands with soap, social distance, avoid the crowds, and wear masks at public places. Your Excellency, once again, on behalf of the government and the people of Namibia, we appreciate this donation, and it's come at the right time when we are even celebrating 31st anniversary of bilateral cooperation between our two countries that we must continue to strengthen. Thank you very much.